playing game makes into your betting, uh, your bet engine bot. Okay, so if we just scroll over here, here is the format that you will recognize that the laying game produces. Now for it to go into the bot, the bet engine, all we need to do is highlight the A column, insert an extra row, and what we need to do here is we need to put the date in there, because uh, the bot needs to read the date. So, and it has to be in this format. Okay, it has to be in that format there. The day, the month, including the zero if there's one, and the full year. Okay, from there, just obviously copy the first one and paste it again. Once you've got the two, if you're using Excel, then you can just scroll all the way down. Okay, and as you can see there now, we have the full date, the time, the course, and we have the horse. So from there, all we need to do is save that file. And we are saving it as a CSV. So it's a CSV, comma, delimited. Now, if you don't have Excel, you can use OpenOffice, but it's a little bit more complicated. Um, not much, but a little bit more. We click yes. Okay, and we'll close the software. And it'll ask us again. You want to save the changes. Save. And we want to keep it in this format, yes. Our bed engine. Open it. Obviously wait for the races to, to load. I've had this open for a little while. Then all you need to do here is... All we need to do now is to obviously just scroll up here for a minute. Get our tabs. So we go to the win. I use win two to eight odds. So bring up that tab. Come down to the bottom where it says load selections. Click on load selections. It brings it up here. This is the file that we saved and changed a minute ago. Click on that. And you can see there in the short, you can see the date and all that's in there. So we just click in open. Now what that's done, that has put the selections into here. So we put save selections. And now if we go up to the races, we can see that they've got ticks next to them and some haven't. If we just scroll up a bit further, we can see the first race in Newcastle, there's no tick in that race. The new market one, there's a tick. So all the ones with ticks now, if we just open, say, the Newcastle one, we can see Holland Park is a selection. And we know Holland Park is a selection. So when we look up into the races, all the ones with ticks in, as we scroll down, they are races that have got this, our selections in. So that's how you know the selections have been loaded up properly. So we've done the we've done the win one. Now all we need to do is the place one. Of course, with the win one, we'll just put it as active. So now that that's done, and you can see there once again all the ones that are ticks. They've got our horses racing in them. And we come to my place lay one. Open that tab. Come back down to the load again. Load the changed format with it's got the date included open save selections and once again now we can see if we just scroll up here the ticks are all in these races so that's it we've all we've loaded both of our bots we come over and activate it and that's it we're done so rather than putting them in manually how I showed in the other video that is how you just load them up using the CSV file Remember that you've just got to change the date, put the date in there, and um, so all you need to do, as I said, is just add that extra column there with the date. Okay, so I hope this video has helped you to be able to put the selections in a lot quicker. As you can see there, once you've changed the date, it's a matter of a couple of minutes and you're all done. And you know you haven't missed any races that way. Okay. This is Steve signing off for The Lane Game, thanking you for your time and I hope you enjoy the software of The Lane Game and Bet Engine. Thank you.